Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Trappers Trails and Tales. So in this whole episode, we're just going to be snaring some beavers under the ice. So don't go away, we'll be right back. Okay, so we've arrived at the first pond. And you can see here I've have I have four beaver sets set up here. There's all snare poles. We got one there, one there, and then two over on that side. So when I set this uh, when I set this house up, it was getting kind of late in the day, so I was only able to set four up. But uh, I'll get these chopped out, and if there was a lots of activity around, well, I'll be setting up a few more. All right, so let's get them chopped out and see if we made a harvest. Okay, guys. So I got the first uh, hole chopped out. It does feel like there's something in it. But maybe not. Yeah. Something in there. Again, I don't like chopping the hole too big. It's big enough to get them out. I do feel fur. Just trying to grab a leg or something to help me. Oh, there we go. You can see just a med uh, small to medium size. The snare off them, caught them right around the waist. And there he is. So this pole still looks to be good, but I'm definitely gonna have to fix the snares all up on it, so. So we'll get this, uh, we'll get this pole all set up before I chop the other ones out. Good. First pole, first beaver. Okay guys, so I chopped the second hole out, second bait pole, and again I could feel some weight on it. I put on my gauntlets. Pull up the pole, you can see it's been all chewed. I'm gonna have to. One of my snares are frozen in the ice. So I'm gonna have to chop that out more, but hopefully I can get this guy out. What's funny is a double. What's going on? Yeah. Oh no, there he is. There's a double layer of ice. I don't know how that happened, but he's. Oh, there we go. It's weird because there's a double layer of ice. Down about eight inches from this one. There's his head. What do do? And again, I don't want to chop the hole too, too big to get him out. It feels like he might be tangled. You'll 
fit. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna have to chop the hole out bigger. And I got a hole in my gauntlet. Okay, so I got them out. You can see it's a, it's a large beaver. So that's not too bad, two for two. So I'm gonna get this guy cut out. I'm definitely gonna need a new bait pole and I'll definitely get it reset again. Okay guys, so we're all done at this house. Uh, again, I ended up with only two beaver. And uh, I chopped out those two, they were hit, but I had missed. I had missed the beaver and the snares, so I just reset them up and then I actually set two more poles here. So I have six bait poles here. Okay, so again, that's why I like using snares, even though I missed, uh, I missed beavers on those two bait poles. They're not startled, they're nothing there, they'll be back and uh, hopefully I'll pick them up on the next time, so. So I'm gonna be, so I'm gonna be leaving this house. There's a beaver, old beaver dam over here. I have a couple otter sets there. Uh, last check I missed uh, missed an otter. He went around my trap, so I, uh, I relocated it, and hopefully we got him. Uh, right now I'm up to 19 otter, and I'm hoping for one more for 20, and then that'll be it for the year, and that'll be my all-time best if I can get 20. All right, so we're going to uh, pack up here. We're going to put these beavers in a fur bag. I'm going to go check those otter traps, and then uh, we've got another house to go check. Okay, so I've arrived at the dam, and you can see I haven't checked my trap yet. But as you can see right here, the otter was back. I don't know how well you can see it, there's so much glare on my screen. You can see where it went by here. It went down, and you can see the fresh tracks on the ice there, beneath the water there. And my trap is over here, so I don't think I got them, but I may have to come back and move this trap over. All right, let's go check the trap. So my 330 was frozen in. I guess the water had dropped a little bit. So it was frozen in the ice, but again, you can see the otter tracks here. And what I did was I put in a dive pole with the 330. Right dead center of the channel. So you can see the water pro proceeds that way. And the trap is just under the water. I'm definitely going to catch him if he comes back. All right, let's go check some more beaver snares. Okay, guys, so we've arrived at the second in the last house. Again, you can see I have two snare poles here, and I have two snare poles over here. So I'm going to get these things cut out, and hopefully we made a harvest. Okay, so number one pole has been pulled up. You can see it's been chewed in half. And I've missed them in the snares. So I'm going to get this bait we set up. And I'll chop out the next ones. So here I've chopped out the second pole. And again, it's a mess. You can see the pole all chewed up. I have to get a reset. And chop out the next one. We're at the third, third pole. And I think I might have caught something here. Again, the pole is all chewed to pieces. Feels like a little bit of weight on it. As you can see here, there's a part of it. Yeah, there's definitely some weight on it. Not saying it's a beaver. Oh. Yeah, I feel fur. Again, I don't want to make this hole too big. I'm going to be resetting in it, so if you make it too big, when you reset the bait, when you reset the set, if you make a catch before it freezes over, the beaver will be sitting up on the ice waiting for you. So this is a beaver. I'm going to have to chop it a little bit bigger. Again, I'm only going to make it as big as what I really need to get them out. I 
don't like pulling on these guys. Just due to the fact you don't know how good you caught them and you don't want to yank the snare off them. And there you go, number three for the day. Short of medium. All right, so we're gonna get this, uh, get this guy out and we'll get it rebaited and chop out that fourth one. because it had a bad kink in it. Okay guys, so that looks like it for the day. I ended up with three beaver. And uh, as you can see in this one, I set a couple extra poles. Three there and three there. I usually like, set, uh, like setting six poles per house. And again, all these were hit, so they must be really hungry. So another little note, we're just gonna let you go. Hope to see you on the next adventure of Trappers Trails and Tales. Later guys.